Hey everyone, this is Kaching, and uh, I get asked quite a few times about um, when I get a sculpt model, what do I do next? And uh, the the answer to that is there's a lot you could do, <laughs> and one of the best things that Fusion allows you to do is to use your sculpt model and start making mechanical features with your sculpt model. So that's that's what I want to show you today. Um, I'm going to walk you through how to add some mechanical features to this utility knife sculpt body that uh, that you see here. So this is a this is a sculpt body that's already been um, sculpted. It's now a solid body. And what we're going to do is add some mechanical features like some webs on the inside, shell it, um, split it in half, add a hole, a counterbore hole, and stuff like that. So um, yeah, let's do that. Let's start doing that right now. So one of the first things I'm going to do is actually shell the body right away. Uh, so I'm going to go to modify and then I'm going to choose the shell command and then I'm going to go to my browser, uh, collapse the bodies folder and select the body one which is the the skull body and instead of using manipulator here I'm just going to change the value to two millimeters and uh, click OK. So now I knew that was an inside shell and uh, but the thing is you can't see it and the way you can see this is to create a sectional, sectional analysis. So if you go to inspect and you say section, section analysis, um, you'll see the, the section analysis dialog pop up. It's going to ask you to select a face. Now we don't have any really uh, hard edge faces except for this one at the very end here, but we're going to use the origin planes as our face. Because the origin plane, at least this one that I'm highlighting over here, goes down the middle of this um, sculpt body. So we're going to select that origin plane, and now you can see that it's it's seen the well, half of the uh, sculpt body, and I can see the shell. So I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to leave the section analysis on so that I can work um, in this view. So now what I'm going to do is start to uh, create some of the webs um, inside this this shelled body. And what I'm what I'm going to do now is let's go to the right view, click on right in the view cube, so that I'm looking at the at this view dead on. Uh, then I'm going to go to sketch, and I'm going to start sketching some lines of where I might want my uh, my webs to be. So line and uh, I'm gonna click on this plane and uh, actually before I go any further I'm gonna turn on the other sketches because this this model came with a bunch of sketches already pre pre-made so you can see that this this um, this sketch shows you the profile of the blade and some other um, aesthetic features of the of the knife handle or of the, the utility knife. I'm going to use these sketches as a reference, but what I really want to do is just sketch out the lines to to um, guide the the webs I'm about to make. So I'm kind of I'm going to go over just above the blade sketch. I'm going to sketch this line all the way all the way out to here as one of my one of my webs. Uh, and then notice when I click that, this is going to allow me to sketch more uh, from that point. I'm going to click Escape to cancel that, but then I'm going to right click and say Repeat Line. This will again give me the line command, um, and then I'm going to click on that that uh, that point there, right below the the knife blade. Um, and then sketch it all the way out past the last circle sketch over there. Hit escape. Now I'm going to put a, um, let's put another line somewhere right where this line ended. I'm going to say repeat line. Uh, and I'm going to go, go here, draw this all the way down to there. And uh, all right, cool. I think, I think that's as much as many webs I want. Um, I'm actually going to use this intersection here to create um, a, a boss, a whole boss later. Um, but as for sketches, that is, that's all I really need. So I'm going to stop sketch and uh, now I'm going to do 
is go to the web command. So we're going to go to create and then we're going to hit web and now it's going to ask me to select the curves. These aren't necessarily curves, there's going to be lines. So I'm going to select the lines that I just created. I'm going to click on this one, this one, and this one. And now you can see the arrow pops up and it's going to ask me what how thick I want my webs to be. Um, instead of dragging it again, I'm going to just click change the value to two millimeters. As you can see right away, uh, the webs appears. Um, so I'm going to say OK. And now if I go back to my home view, the web terminates at the inside surface, which is great. Doesn't come through. And now I have my web. So that was pretty easy. But uh, now um, I've only done this to one side. And since I have my sectional analysis on, I've only done I've only done the web on this side of the of the knife. If I turn um, if I go edit my section analysis, so I go to the the item in the browser, right click, click edit. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna click X, so I'm gonna deselect the face that I've selected, which will then throw me into um, the original state here without any section section analysis. And I'm gonna click on uh, this the other side of this plane. Um, and notice that when I click, when I hover over, it doesn't highlight. So one thing that you can do is that if you wanted to select something behind a body, you can just hover over that and then click and hold, and that should, or actually, you know what? I take that back. You have to actually select uh, no selection here. You gotta click that until that's blue. Now you can select the plane. So uh, now I've highlight, I hover over it and it highlights. And then now I can see the other side, the other section of the body, and I'm gonna say OK. So now I'm gonna re, uh, I'm gonna uh, create the webs again before this side. So um, let's turn on the sketch that we, the lines that we sketched earlier. So go to the sketch folder, and then turn on sketch 29. Or for you, if you're following and you're doing this, it may not be the, the same number sketch, but it's the, the second sketch if you sketched it on the origin plane. And I'm going to go back to left view, seeing it dead on, and then go to web again. Click on web. I'm going to pick the lines that I've, I've sketched earlier. So these three lines. Uh, and before I change the thickness, I'm going to flip the direction because we did it for that, that side. Now if we flip the direction, it's going to create the webs for this side. So I'm going to flip the direction. I'm going to do two millimeters. And now I should get that thickness. Say OK. And now we have our webs. So if I hide my section analysis right now, I should have webs on the inside. And you can see that by going to... Uh, if we go to visual style and say shaded with, with shaded shaded with hidden edges, you can see um, you can see that you can see the webs on the inside. Yeah, cool. So let's uh, let's change this back to shaded with visible edges. Let's turn our analysis back on, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sketch a circle right in the middle of that intersection. So I'm gonna go back to the left uh, view. I'm gonna go to sketch circle center diameter circle I'm gonna pick the same um, the same plane that this the the web sketches are on so I'm gonna click on that and now I'm gonna snap to the middle of that that uh, intersection and I'm gonna give this a diameter of eight millimeters I'm gonna hit enter hit enter again and now I have my circle sketch and I'm gonna stop sketch so now I'm my circle sketch now what I'm gonna do is I want to extrude this uh, both ways. I'm going to extrude it symmetrically. So first I got to pick my circle or pieces of the pie there. Uh, then I'm going to right click and say extrude. You can also go to I uh, believe modify modif no, 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 create extrude uh, but if you did the right click then you should also be able to see that. And uh, now Instead of one side as direction, I'm going to do symmetric, and uh, it, the operation is a new body. But I think as soon as I start dragging, it's going to think that I'm going to cut. So we're going to change that after we've dragged it out. So drag it out, 
Dragon also is past the body. You want you want the cylinder to be you want the circle to be protruding, uh, and then operation you're going to make this a new body, and uh, and then you're going to click OK. So now we have that cylinder that's going through the uh, the the whole uh, sculpted body here. So if I turn off analysis, you can see the cylinder going through, which is exactly what we want. Uh, yeah. So now let's hide the sketch because now we don't really need to see it anymore. Uh, and what I'm going to do is create a counter bore hole through the cylinder, uh, just one hole. So uh, let's go to create and then let's pick the hole command. And then let's pick this uh, outer face here. Notice when I hover over, you'll see this little blue cross. That means it's going to snap to the center. So if you click anywhere on that surface, it's going to snap to the center. And uh, now let's zoom in a bit and look at this hole. And going over to the dialog box here, I'm going to select counter bore. And now uh, we're going to drag the, the, the depth of this hole um, almost all the way through, but not actually going through the, the, uh, the other side. So let's drag this out to, let's just say, uh, 28. Yeah, 28 millimeters there. And then, um, then let's make this diameter uh, three millimeters. Let's make our counterboard depth a little more. Uh, so somewhere, somewhere towards the the middle, but not all the way in the middle yet. So uh, let's just say, let's just say here. This looks about right. And if I had actual dimensions, then I would totally put it in. Um, but I don't right now. So uh, as diameter, let's make this six millimeters. Okay, uh, and uh, yeah, that looks about right. So let's say okay, and now I have a counterboard hole through um, through this through this uh, cylinder. Now comes the part where I'm going to actually split the body into two because right now these are just still two bodies. That's one big cylinder and one big sculpted body with some webs in it. Uh, so I'm going to split this body into two and to do that I'm going to go to modify and say split body. Uh, let's split the, the knife handle first. So um, this is the body split. The splitting tool is actually going to be our origin plane again. Um, so this is what I was talking about earlier. If you can't if you can't select what's behind it, you can just click and hold, and you get this little uh, option drop down that lets you choose what you want to ch what you want. So we're gonna choose that work plane that's highlighted. So now this is gonna cut this body into two. We're gonna say okay, and now we have we have uh, body one and body two, or body one and body one of one. <laughs> you can rename that later. So now let's repeat, and uh, again, if you right-click and hover to the top, that's going to be your last use command, so repeat split body. Uh, now the body to split is going to be the cylinder. Splitting tool is going to be the work plane again. So let's choose that guy, say OK. Now our cylinder is split. So now you can see if I hide one side, this is now split. Uh, and now what we're going to do, since these are still two separate bodies, we're going to combine them. And to do that, we're going to go to Modify, and then click on Combine. And then we're going to say that the knife body is the body to target body, and the cylinder is the tool body. We're going to say Join, say OK. All right. Now let's hide this one, make the other two visible, and do the same thing. So repeat Combine. This is the target body, this is the tool body, join, OK. So now we have two bodies. And notice that these, this cylinder and the other cylinder is still protruding. And let's get rid of them. Oh, well, it's really easy to get rid of them. All you got to do is select it and select that. Well, essentially, you're just holding Shift to select both of them and press Delete. And they're gone. Just, just simple as that. And now you have a counterboard hole going through the knife body, uh, and if I hide the other one, you can see that my webs are are still uh, are the way that I want them to be. So if I hide this one, go to the other side. This is the the other half of the 
of the body. Now, the, the, the great thing about all of this is that if I ever make a change, um, if I ever needed to make a change in this design, uh, either at the web, thickness of the web, or um, size of the hole, um, or even the shape of the, of the knife itself, um, everything else updates. So if I go back to the knife body here, and this is the original skull body, and say, oh, this body wasn't as ergonomic. I need to make this a little more ergonomic. I need to pull this surface down a bit. Maybe uh, make it just a bit thicker, like down here. And then maybe give this a little more pronounced finger troil so that you know you get a nice grip. So if I drag this down a bit like that, you know, let's just say that was was what the customer wanted. Um, you know, I can look at finished form, everything else updates. Everything else updates, including my web. So if I hide that, look at that. My web updates, everything's just dandy. I don't have to remake anything. So I hope that helped you guys understand a little bit more on um, what you can do with sculpt bodies and how you can make things more manufacturable. Uh, these are great tools to use, and you can apply them to just about any sculpt body or whatever you need to, to make more uh, manufacturable. So, yeah, uh, let me know if this was useful, and um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Later.